Hello there all you lovely coders. In this lesson we're going to take a look at procedures and functions. Procedures and functions help to keep programs simple and short. They are blocks of code that can be used many times. It is like a little program inside a bigger program. For example, you could create a procedure that is used to help operate a robot in a car factory. Let's do that now. Start by searching on the Scratch website Professor Cody Lesson 5.1 or alternatively click on the link shown in the description below. Now select C inside. To start you off I have already added some blocks of code to the background code tab. First let's make the car move. Add this code to the car sprite. Select the green flag and run your program. How's it looking so far? Now we're going to make a procedure used by a robot to spray paint the car. Select the robot sprite and click on my blocks. A block is the name given to a procedure in Scratch. Click on make a block and name your block paint car. Use a defined block to start making your procedure. Take a sound block and start the sound Spray 1. Now select a repeat block and add a switch costume block so that it switches to costume Rob Paint 2. Now add a wait 0.1 seconds and add another switch costume block so it switches back to Rob Paint 1. You have now made your procedure. Let's make the rest of the code. Take a green flag and go to front layer from the looks block. Add a switch costume to row paint 1 so that the robot starts without the spray paint. Grab a forever block and put an if block inside it. You now need a sense block so that the robot does something if it is touching the car. Put the procedure paint car inside the if block so that whenever the robot detects a car the procedure will start. This is known as calling the procedure. Select the green flag and run your program. So that's a procedure, but what about making a function? A function is similar to a procedure. It's a block of code that carries out a particular task, but this time it returns a value to the main program. Here we are in Professor Cody's car showroom. You can buy any of the vehicles on offer, a function called discount is used to calculate your discount, but you'll need to know the discount code and then the function will return the value of the discount to the main program. Let's make a function. Start by searching on the Scratch website for Prof Cody Lesson 5.2 or alternatively click on the link shown in the description below. Select C inside. To start you off, I've already added some blocks of code to the background, the vehicle sprite and the Professor Cody sprite, so that we can concentrate on making the function. Click on make a block and name your block discount. Choose add an input. Use the define block to start making your function. Grab an ask block from the sensing blocks and write Enter your discount code. You now need an if then else block to decide what happens if the customer gets the code right or gets the code wrong. If the customer knows the code, you'll need an equals operator and change it so that the answer equals the code. In this case, the code is C O D Y, but it can be whatever you want. Now, Set the discounted price to equal half of the retail price. You need a set discount price and put a divide operator inside it. You need to divide the retail price by 2 to get a 50% discount. In the else area, set the discounted price to equal the retail price as the customer doesn't know the code and add a message. Sorry, your discount code has expired. Now add the function to the main program and add the retail price variable. This is the value 
the function will use to calculate the discount. The discounted price will then be returned to the main program. Select the green flag and run your program to see what happens when you get the code right and when you get the code wrong. Now coders, it's time for a challenge. I'd like you to make a program using a function that lets you input a dog's age and the function calculates the human equivalent age and returns this value to the main program. Now, freeze the screen so that you can see what you have to do. We're now going to use procedures to build some houses. Start by searching on the Scratch website for Prof Cody Lesson 5.3 or alternatively click on the link shown in the description below. Select See Inside. To start you off, I have already added some blocks of code to the token. In this project, you're going to need to load the pen extension. Go to Add Extension and choose Pen. We're going to start by making a procedure called Walls that makes the walls of the house. Click on My Blocks and then make a block. Call the block Walls. Add a motion block, point in the direction 90. Use a repeat 4 block to make the 4 walls of the house. Add a motion block, move 100. And then add a motion block, turn 90. You can also add a wait 1 second block if you want to slow down the movements so that you can see what you are doing. We're going to make another procedure. This one's called Roof. Click on My Blocks and then make a block. Call the block Roof and add this code. The next task is to make a procedure called House that uses the walls and roof procedures. Make this procedure House and then add the procedure to a green flag block. Now. All you have to do is click on the green flag and the procedure house will be called. OK, it's time for a challenge. I'd like you to make a procedure called window that draws a window and a procedure called door that, yes, draws a door. Once you have done this, I would like you to add these two procedures to your house procedure so that you draw a house with a window and a door. Now. I'd like to change the program using iteration so that when you click on the green flag you draw three houses in a row. Now freeze the screen so that you can see what you have to do. Finally, I have a wonderful game that I would like you to add a procedure to. In this game you have to catch the crystal and avoid the moving buildings. Start by searching on the Scratch website for Prof Cody Lesson 5.4 or alternatively click on the link shown in the description below. Select so See Inside. To start you off, I've already added some blocks of code to the building, the crystals and the Professor Cody sprite so that we can concentrate on making the procedure. We want to make a procedure that makes Professor Cody jump so that he can avoid the buildings and catch the crystals. Start by clicking on My Blocks and make a block called Jump. You're going to need two repeats. The first repeat changes Y by 30 and the next repeat changes Y by minus 30. You'll also need to put a weight 0.3 between the two repeat blocks. Now you've made your procedure and you can add a green flag and then add a forever block and an IF block. Then select a sensing block for when the space key is pressed. Now, whenever you press the space key on the keyboard, the jump procedure will be called. Try playing the game to see what happens. Now it's time for a challenge. I'd like you to make a procedure called Crystal, so that whenever Professor Cody is touching the crystal, the procedure is called and the score is increased by two. The crystal changes color and the magic spell sound is heard. Now, freeze the screen so that you can see what you have to do. Did you manage to make the procedure? Well, that's fan dabby Remember, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. 
and why not subscribe to this channel. It's a great big Arrivederci from Professor Cody. Until next time.